Hello YouTube and all my friends that follow my channel and also the Buckeye Boys channel and the Friday show. I'm sure you've probably been seeing the videos from them and various other friends, maybe Thomas, Muzzle Mike, and a bunch of others about the FEMA camps. Well, I kind of have my own theory and it doesn't really have anything to do with the FEMA camps. In fact, my theory is probably going to blow all the rest of the theories away because it's like traveling throughout the Midwest and parts of the South. You look at things and the way certain groups and certain cultures behave and sometimes something just clicks and you put two and two together and you think, wait a minute, these two unrelated things are totally related and then when you investigate a little further and you look into something that I don't think anybody else has ever suspected or even looked into in the past it just absolutely makes sense every question all of a sudden is answered all of the cards drop into place everything just matches up I mean it's just like you slap yourself in the face and say why the hell didn't I think about this before and it kind of started I think the grain of the thought of this kind of started with the Buckeye Boys when I went down to uh, Ohio and stayed at the clubhouse and did some writing around there too because that's one of the areas that uh, has some of these strange kind of things happening and I noticed other investigators, you know, you have people that investigate crop circles, you have people that investigate chupacabra, you have uh, all kinds of different theories. you got chemtrails in the sky mind control drugs with chemtrails in the sky but it would be like if all of a sudden and this isn't it but just this is just to give you an example obviously this is a teaser video and I'm going to do the full disclosure when my team and I have a crack team working on this uh, Muzzle Mike, 54 Shadow and myself have been working on this and uh, gotten some proof of the theory too but it would be like uh, Chupacabra and Crop Circles both explained each other and then when you figured out why they both just uh, dovetail in together then it all makes sense and everything is known about the one is known about the other and vice versa well that's the way this theory is too and uh, I've seen specials on the Discovery Channel and specials on the History Channel but uh, I can't believe that uh, supposedly smarter minds than, than me have not put these two theories together before and seen the way it works but that's okay. I think by the time I get done with this, I think uh, Art Bell will want to come out of retirement and start to show up again. George Norrie from Coast to Coast will be calling me up, begging me to come on. Alex Jones will probably be uh, not only calling but knocking on my door, begging me to come on his show. But all, all it takes is just, you know, somebody thinking of two things and bringing them together. And then it all completely makes sense. And when you listen to me talk about this on the next video that I'm going to put, it won't be on my channel. I'll put this teaser on my channel and I'm going to put the, uh, the Buckeye Boys. Uh, somebody drop something there. What are we doing here? I will put this uh, teaser on the Buckeye Boy channel. I will give them a copy. But then the final video revealing not just my theory but the proof. And thanks again for my staff too. I couldn't have done this without you guys because uh, I could have put forth a theory and you guys would have said, yeah, it makes perfect sense, but where's your proof? And I needed one team member to really help me with that and uh, get the final proof to uh, absolutely make sense of my theory. And that did happen just recently, so I've got that available too. But what I will do is uh, watch my channel and I will post a video directing you to where you can go and see this video on the Buckeye Boys channel. And uh, they let me know that the month of September is free as far as they're not going to have a Friday show. They're getting together for a regular full-scale Friday show in October. So uh, I had space available, and I was kind of concerned. I talked to Keith today, and after he had just, uh, I saw in one of his videos that he had just escaped from a FEMA, FEMA death camp himself. 
and he looked in pretty bad shape so I wasn't sure if he really wanted to draw this kind of fire and attention to himself I mean if there was ever anybody on a list he's on not only the list he's on every list that anybody has so uh, he's taking quite a chance but I did I chatted with him today and uh, he's doing quite a bit better and I think this will uh, this will probably in a way give him the kind of publicity to protect himself because now if uh, Obama was to send some spooks or assassins or something like that to try to stop this. It's too well known now. It would be too suspicious. So I think in a way by giving this material to him, it's kind of protecting his life now. And it's a, uh, there's no way anybody's going to get away with anything. So that's about all I have to say. I want you guys to stay tuned. And uh, the next one will be coming out. I think I'm going to be able to have everything coordinated. I'll be able to release this, I think, on Saturday. And uh, I will make a video just on my channel, but it will just be pointing to the Buckeye Boys channel um, where you will see all this information released. And it's, uh, if it isn't picked up by all the major news services, then we know that I probably hit the nail on the head because there's a big cover-up going on, as usual. So take care, everybody. Everybody stay tuned for the real news.